In order to produce quality parts, we need to understand measuring principles. For many of you, the decimal system may be a piece of cake. For those of you that viewed our course on how to run a lathe, the decimal system should be firmly etched in your brain. But for those of you that got up late or missed math class, let's take a refresher course and go over the decimal system so measuring and producing quality parts will be a little bit easier. All right, we have what we call a Texas inch here, and we're going to break that down into a decimal system. We'll start at zero, and from zero to one inch, if we were going to divide that into the decimal system, we would have 1,000 parts. We're going to take and very finely divide that inch up into 1,000 pieces. If we go to a half inch, how many thousandths are in a half inch? You guessed it, 500. So the decimal equivalent of a half inch would be 0.500, or 500 thousandths. In a quarter inch, simply half of that, 0 0.250. Are you getting the hang of it? I hope so. It's really pretty simple. An eighth of an inch, again, half of a quarter, 0.125, a sixteenth, 0 0.0625, and a 32nd of an inch, 0 0.031, okay? So that pretty well breaks down that inch into 30 seconds, 16 sixteenths, one-eighths, quarters, three-eighths would be, think quickly now, 0.375, three-eighths of an inch. Five-eighths, we're simply adding one-eighth to a half, so we've got 0 0.625, add another eighth to three quarters, 0 0.750, and one more eighth to seven eighths at 0.875. So by fully understanding the decimal system, we can take very precise measurements. Now there's a variety of tools out there that enable us, accompanied with our knowledge of the decimal system, to measure precisely. And by far the most popular is the dial caliper.